Hi, my name is Brandon with SalesBad, and this is a short video on sales batch processing. Sales batch processing provides an interface to perform batch level operations on multiple documents. From this module, users can forward documents in a workflow, place payments on orders, and print, fax, or email documents and invoices. Sales batch processing can be accessed two ways by clicking on the sales batch processing icon in the ribbon, or by clicking in your modules menu, going down to sales, then finally sales batch processing. The ability to access sales batch processing is controlled via the security editor, which can be found by clicking on the admin menu and going down to security editor. In security editor, do a search for sales batch processing and you will see this option here. Make sure this is checked, otherwise the, the ability to access sales batch processing will not be there. From the main sales batch processing setting, you can see the numerous subsettings that control the various things you can do within sales batch processing. These include allocating documents, forwarding documents, unallocating documents, and there are numerous other actions you can use. Once you have your security set, we can get back into sales batch processing. The first thing to do once you're in sales batch processing is to select your different batches. You can do so by selecting the drop down here and choosing the various batches you want to look in. You can choose up to any number of batches that you would like. Selecting your batch and clicking search will show all documents within those batches. Like other sales pad grids, this, is, this grid is also completely customizable. You can add columns by click, right clicking on any of the columns above and choosing column chooser, which will bring up the chooser to select the columns that we have available in this window. You'll also note that the customer numbers and the sales doc numbers are linkable, so clicking on either one of these will open the customer number or the sales document in question. Before performing any actions in sales batch processing, it's important to make sure this box is either checked or unchecked depending on what you want to do. Checking this box will perform the action only on the documents that you have selected. So we can come in here and multi-select the various documents that we want to perform an action on. Without this checked, performing the action will do it on any documents that are open in the batch. Now that we have our documents selected, we can come in and perform any number of actions, including printing up here on the print button. It will verify that you want to print the number of documents that you have selected, and then bring up the print sales documents report. This is where you would choose the report or reports that you want to print, along with selecting the printer that you want to print to. Along with printing, we can also email from this screen. Clicking the email button will bring up a window similar to the, the print dialog where you would select the different documents or reports that you want to print, allow you to preview them, or allow you to pro proceed with, print, with emailing. Clicking proceed will bring up the send bulk email window where you can choose your subject and the various templates that we have available to you. It also allows you to choose whether or not the emails are going to the shipping email or the billing email, or both. These are controlled via the sales document, so be sure you know what you're sending it to. Clicking send will send the emails off. After email, we have fax. We can fax by clicking on the fax button up at the top. Clicking the fax button will bring up the emailing sales document report window, similar to clicking the email button. This is where you would select the different reports that you want to fax out. Clicking proceed brings up the send fax dialog, where you can enter in any comments, Choose any subsettings that you want and then click send. If you're printing or emailing a batch of documents, it's important to make note of these two checkboxes up here. When forward after print is checked, the document will be forwarded to the next appropriate queue for that document once the documents have been printed. That goes the same with forward after email. The document will be forwarded through to its next workflow batch after the documents have been emailed. Our next action is forwarding documents through workflow, which can be done by clicking on the forward button above. Clicking forward will forward documents to their appropriate queues as well as, as well as trigger any plugins or, or workflow rules that apply. From sales batch processing, we can also transfer documents by clicking on the transfer button at the top. What this will do is transfer quotes to orders and orders to invoices. Another thing we can do in sales batch processing is capture credit card authorizations. So if throughout the day, numerous documents have credit card authorizations placed on them, 
You can capture the batch by coming into Sales Batch Processing, selecting the documents, and clicking Capture Credit Card Offs. Sales Batch Processing also allows you to allocate or unallocate a batch of documents at one time by either clicking the Unallocate or Allocate buttons at the top. If you're tasked with constantly monitoring a specific batch, we have a few refresh options available. We can refresh manually, which will only refresh the page anytime you hit the search button up at the top, or clicking the drop down, we can refresh every 30, 30 seconds, one minute, or five minutes. Thank you for watching this video. We have many more available on our website at www.salespad.net.